Hello, I'm Anna Mackay and this video is the fourth in our mini series on sketching quadratics and here we're looking at the discriminant and positive and negative definites and what that means. So discriminant, that comes, that's part of the quadratic formula as you would know and it's the part under the square root. Discriminant, um, the symbol for that is a triangle and it's D for delta, it's a letter in the Greek alphabet and it helps us to discriminate between the roots essentially of the equation and therefore what it will look like visually. So if that component under the square root, the discriminant, is greater than zero, which means our square root could have two possible values, we would have graphs that look like this. Those two possible values that you get for the plus or minus under the square root, um, the fact that it's two implies that we would have two roots, two um, x-intercepts and there are options. Now what if it's equal to zero? That means under the square root the square root is equal to zero which means that's zero so it has no effect therefore our turning point and our axis of symmetry would just be the one there won't be any definition between them and therefore visually that's a touch that that quadratic will touch the x-axis in that form or this form, concave up or concave down. Are there any more versions? What if the discriminant is less than zero? Which means under that square root, you've got a number less than zero, which you can't technically do, but other than with the use of imaginary numbers. So it's sort of saying that the roots of this equation, the x-intercepts are imaginary, which means there are none that cut the x-axis. So the graph will either sit completely above the x-axis or completely below. And that's the specific ones for today. Summarising that, we're particularly interested in when that discriminant is less than zero. So that's the thing that's similar. We would have imaginary roots, but today we're really just interested in graphically what that looks like. If it's the a coefficient is greater than zero, so a positive number here. A positive number means it's called positive definite and it uh, sits completely above the x-axis. If the a on the other hand is a negative number there, a negative number means it's called negative definite and sits completely below in a negative shape which is concave down. Okay so two examples here for this video. Use the discriminant to determine the relationship between the graph of each function and the x-axis. So we must use the discriminant. When we do that, I find it handy to write out what your coefficients are, and c is 4, to use that in the discriminant. That is part of the quadratic formula, the minus, sorry, the b squared minus 4ac. Then you substitute in those numbers, 3 squared minus 4, times by 1 and 4. Work that out, negative 7. Doesn't matter which number it is, the fact that it's um, a negative 7, the only thing we're interested in is the fact that it's a negative number. So negative, thinking about what shape that is, and then you look at, so um, our a, so we have the discriminant is less than 0, and our a is greater than 0, so therefore the shape that it's going to have if that was our x-axis, would be that shape. But go back and read the question. It asked us to determine the relationship between the graph and the x-axis. So you've got to use words to describe that. And you would say something like the graph. Feel free to um, put this on fast forward so you don't have to watch me write all this. The graph is positive definite. And you say it lies entirely above the x-axis. So we have determined the relationship between the graph and the x-axis. And the second one, using the discriminant. So you write out your coefficients. A is negative 2, B is 5, and C is 1. Write out the formula for the discriminant. B squared minus 4AC. Substitute in your numbers. 5 squared minus 4 times by 2 times by 1. And that comes out to be 33. Now 33 is what type of number? Positive, so it's greater than 0. And our A is less than 0. 
Now, thinking about what shape that's going to have, because our discriminant is greater than zero, that means we're going to have two x-intercepts. So wherever they are going to be. And which way around would this graph be? Concave up or concave down? Well, a is less than zero, so it's a negative number. Negatives are sad, and so it will be the sad shape, which would be like that. But you still must use words to describe this to determine the relationship between the graph and the x-axis. So you would say something along the lines of the graph cuts the x-axis how often? Twice. And which shape is it? It's concave down. So from that description, somebody should be able to draw a very rough sketch of the um, quadratic in question. Okay, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And the next video in this series is finding a quadratic from its graph. So it's almost going backwards. You've got the graph and you need to work out the equation. Thank you.